from deep in the heart of the San Fernando Valley, it's Hanging with Dr. Z, with Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheels. Tonight, funny lady, Hannah Heinbinder. This monkey means business. The doctor will see you now. <laughs> oh, we kid. We kid. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to Hanging with Dr. Z. How are you? I'm Dr. Z, and this is Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheels right over here. How are you, Rusty? Oh, I'm pretty good. Weird, I had a weird morning this morning. I don't know if this ever happened to you. Woke up, felt great, bounced out of bed, ready to take on the day, headed out in the living room, Jack Webb passed out on the couch, and for half a second, I thought we'd adopted a basset hound that smelled like bourbon. It's so strange. We have, uh, we have, uh, we have a lot of pets at the house, and uh, we have cats. And people talk about cats being so smart. And uh, I, I, you know, well, one thing, you'll, you'll hear this a lot. Women will go, oh, I don't have children, but my cat is like my child. <laughs> really? <laughs> when was the last time you said something without thinking, and then you were afraid it would make your cat grow up to be a stripper? <laughs> now, we have a dog. We have a dog named Alfie. God love him. Alfie's not too, uh, too tight in the cocoa. <laughs> Alfie has a look in his eyes that you'd only get from a guy in an army jacket sitting alone on a swing set in the rain. <laughs> so we took him to the vet because he was acting very strange and we thought there was something wrong with him. And the vet said, you know, you might want to try doggy Prozac. <laughs> and I felt ridiculous. But, but we, we got it. And then I felt even more ridiculous because a week later I had to bring him back. Yeah, he's taken it, but now we can't get an erection. <laughs> he wants to be a good dog. Anyway, this show is going to give you an erection in the funny bone, and that's not a double entendre. It's a separate bone with nothing to do with your bathing suit area. Our very, very, very funny. Hannah Einbinder is with us tonight from HBO's Hacks. We also have Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheels. We'll be right back. You're in with the doctor and I'm gonna see you now. It's the story of a tasty snack cake. Flohos, no. From the taste labs at Little Fox Bakeries, the after-school treat that tastes just like Florence Henderson, America's mom, Carol Brady herself. And she's ready to move out on the family and move into your mouth. So put a pack or two inside your child's lunch. Flow hose. You're in for a treat. Today, here, now, we have one of the most mystical apes alive, ready to amaze you with his mystical powers. I give you the great General, General Carnassus. Carnassus. Oh. Greetings. Greetings to you, sir. Greetings. Greetings to you, sir. May Bruce Lee's ghost spray ectoplasm in your sister's dojo. <laughs> I hold in my hand the first envelope. The first envelope. The first envelope. The first envelope. Prozac. 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 I just said Prozac. <laughs> what do you call people who support Zach? The second envelope. May your grandmother soak her bunions in Andy Dick's fire water. <laughs> Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. What do other comedians never do to Rob Schneider's material? Glass Houses Department. Glass Houses Department. I hold in my hand 
The final envelope. He holds in his hand the final, final envelope. The final envelope. The last envelope. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson. How do you get rid of the liquid in your Johnson? I'm getting a signal as I see into the future. We have an amazing show tonight. The lovely and talented Hannah Einbinder is with us. This has been the amazing General Parnassus. Our next guest marries talent with some other talent. She is uh, one of the stars of HBO's a uh, hit new series, Hacks. She is an actress and a comedian and a human woman. Please welcome Hannah Einbinder, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Doc. How's it going? My, my dad loves your shit. People don't know this. We should, I drove cross country with your dad uh, several years ago. Yeah, to get him back from yeah. the... Uh... The uh, the whole episode. Yeah, it was a let's just say a very specific religion that dealt with vipers. Yeah. Speaking of religion, uh, you uh, work for a time in one of the most sacred cities in America, Las Vegas. I'm joking. Uh, you're on the show Hacks, uh, and you work a little bit in. Uh, do you spend a lot of time in Vegas? Um, you know, I go for the odd magic show. Sure. Um, I it, like it used to, to be, uh, for me, it was Foxy Boxing. Sure. Oh, really? What is that? You know, it's the timeless combination of uh, women in bikinis, boxing gloves in a cage. What oh. could go wrong? Sure. I think, I think a lot has gone wrong, right? <laughs> That's sort of how you get there. Uh, when you go to Vegas, who who do you want to see? Because there are some hacks in Vegas. Whenever I go to Vegas, I'm astounded at, at one, there are so many ventriloquists. <laughs> Two, I don't know any of them. And three, they're all conventionally handsome, but in a way that's quietly terrifying. Yes, and those are just the guys performing on the street. <laughs> I mean, Indeed. the professional level, it gets to a whole other weird niche that, you know, frankly has darkness around it. And <laughs> no one has ever said, now that I've worked through all of my emotional shit, I can concentrate on becoming a ventriloquist. <laughs> Have you ever seen Carrot Top? You know, only in my nightmares. <laughs> do, 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 you know, he works out a lot. Is he ever going to stop? Um, I believe that he will continue beyond the grave. And I'm not <laughs> altogether sure that's not what is currently happening. He's the bench pressing dead. <laughs> No, but I do have a lot of love for Carrot Top. I obviously was called Carrot Top a lot growing up, and okay. so I do well, feel close to him. Welcome aboard. I know, you and I. I mean, yeah. it's like looking in a mirror. Yep, Pumpkin Patch, <laughs> pumpkin patch Central. <laughs> I love, now here's the thing, Carrot Top, do you know I, let me see, where's my camera? Where's my camera? Where's, down, this one? lower, <laughs> down. Yeah. Carrot Top, give me your eyes. You know I love you. We go back a long way. We play dueling drug smugglers on a two-part Mannix. You have to stop. You're starting to look like Vicki Lawrence's reflection in a puddle, and it's terrifying the children. At a certain point, you just get so many muscles, you just look like someone's foot. Now you grew up in a, you grew up in a you had a pretty rough and tumble childhood. You grew up in Westwood, which for people who aren't familiar with Westwood, it's like the South Side of Detroit in the seventies. <laughs> you grew up right by the sketchy color me mine. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Two two uh, two temples on either side of me, a Methodist church across the street and a university a stone's throw away. Yes. A real, a real rough and tumble zone. It's, ra it's rare to hear the expression, a city choking with temples. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere you turn, you bump into a shoal. Where did the family come from? Because you're Jewish, right? I am. Next question. 
Uh, so don't you want to go to heaven? Um, yeah, yeah, I should ask you all the same thing. I mean, we're really the only ones who are going to go, so. No, Jews, and believe, I love the, Go on. I, lo I love the Jews, I believe they're our future. Uh, you don't have a concept of hell, correct? Nope. Hell is earth, baby. Hell is earth, and then heaven is heaven. Yep. I love the idea of, like, Gandhi going to heaven, seeing Manson, and getting furious. <laughs> Hey, Dr. Z, I, I had a question for you. Oh, please. Do you have any, I don't know, any advice for me as I venture out into the creative world? Don't get a full back tattoo of Claude Aikens. <laughs> okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, um, no problem. Oh, also, one, one last thing. Would you mind... Uh, I. I know you're busy, but would would you would you mind um, just making like a little video for for my dad? He just he's a fan, and you know I think seeing your face would uh, kind of remind him why he got off that that that. I'm gonna do it to that tricky path. I'm yeah. gonna do it to that camera right now. That'd be great. And we'll go out on this. Chad, I am no longer mad about the underwear. With a greyhound. <laughs> Just come home. Thank you. Come home. <gasps> Sorry, can we stop? Sorry, can we stop? Do you need another one? I can do it again. Smaller up here, bigger from here. No, that was good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Tomorrow night, the Reverend Billy Graham and actor John Holmes. <laughs>